I just located them. Hello, welcome to Hook Legends and thanks for watching today's video. First and foremost, I'd like to say, if you like these videos, make sure you reach up right now and click subscribe and like. Make sure you click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when future videos are released. Now, today I want to do something called um, barometric based tactics. In other words, when I get up and I get ready to go to fishing in the morning, evening, or whenever it is, um, I don't just grab some rods and, kind of, and, and, and go out fishing. Um, one of the things I do is I try to take a look at the fishing conditions and um, my boat's moving here I hope the camera can kind of maintain view on me um, one of it so today is a high pressure system so um, that's going to eliminate 95% of this particular lake that I'm fishing in so um, the fish are going to be either closer to the bottom structure they're going to be tight to structure but they're just not going to be out roaming around too much now this isn't a hard fast rule saying you're never going to catch them out roaming around in these kind of conditions but for the most part um i'm going to need to go out and look for structure let me give you a shot of what a high pressure system looks like so you can get a good understanding of it you see that not a cloud in the sky see that look no cloud no cloud i mean it's a beautiful day Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day to be outside fishing. Um, but it is a high pressure day, so I um, it's going to be tough fishing conditions. So now I need to try to locate some fish around some structure, and I'm, I may need to try several tactics in order to catch these fish. Now I hope I can catch a few. My um, normally, you know, I say they win the lottery. They have the winning lottery ticket. And I throw them back in the water. My wife gave me clear instructions today: bring some fish home. In other words, um, she knows someone, a family that's going through some tough times right now. So we want to catch some fish and, and, and give it to that family so they'll um, enjoy some good fresh fish. So um, with that being said, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the barometric pressure first of all. You know, normally I have a little barometric um, dial that sits in my garage. I walk past it. And after looking at that thing for so many years, when I walked past it this morning, I noticed I didn't look at it and I thought about it. I said, why don't I look at it anymore? One of the reasons is, you can just look up. If you look up and you see a day like this, chances are you're having a high pressure condition. If it's kind of cloudy, especially low hanging clouds, you probably have a low um, condition. If the barometric pressure is high or moderate and going up, then chances are your condition is probably going to stay the same, clear skies, not too turbulent. If that barometric pressure is dropping, then you might have a situation where you're going to get some cloud cover coming in or some turbulent weather. Um, for example, when Hurricane Michael came on shore, I believe the average surface temperature was about 20, I'm not, yep, it was about 27.3, I think it was, yeah, um, the pressure. So um, once again, let's get to the action. So I just took an image, and I'm going to put that image up. I mean, there's absolutely like it, pretty much what I expected. Zero fish hanging out in this open water. Um, somewhere, they're tight, and they're tight to structure. Hope I can find them. I think I just located them. Wow. That's a pretty nice one. Once again, I'm putting them in the cooler today for my wife. Yeah, got one. Now, Beautiful little fish. Now I patrol most of this lake and um, basically that lower end, nothing. I mean, it's just barren, nothing down there but bait fish. Uh, went to all the spots where I've caught fish before, zero, nada, nothing. But um, came over here. If you look, you'll see that this is a little bit of a shady area 
and um, it's their shade here there's a creek channel come through so you have a little bit of current coming through so um this is where the fish are stacked up so i'm gonna see if i can catch maybe five or ten for my wife while i'm here but um once again this is just based on the barometric condition bright blue sky um the fish want to protect their eyes so you know i never saw a fish wearing sunglasses and never one ever winked at me so um the only way they can protect their eyes is to get over here in this shade so see if i can catch another one hey. Missed him. Oh, missed him. Give him another shot at the title. He's on there. He's on there. Wow, these are a blast to catch. Come on, little fella. Not the biggest one, but now nah, he's too small. I'm gonna throw him back. <laughs> it's his lucky day. It's got to be some big ones around here close by. Usually, once you find a school, most of them in that school are gonna be about the same size. There's several of these hold up right up in that little corner over there. Right over in there. That's where they are. There's one there. This one's got a little more. It's got some fight in it. It's not huge, but once again, these high pressure fish are predictable. Another high pressure, high pressure crappie. Yeah. You know, this cool weather, things got these fish turned on. You just gotta find them, though. I mean. You can come out here and fish a lot of your old fishing spots and uh, just think the fish aren't biting when in reality not, they're not there. These fish move around a lot so you got to move around and search for them. You know, even if you don't have sonar, you know, just knowing the basic principles of um, trying to find some areas where the fish can hold up their water, structure, and low light conditions. That was a thump. Yeah, we got him. Now I better not try to lift him. What about a net? Some of, some of these fish are net worthy. Think he qualifies? Yeah, this is another. This is another decent fish, you know. Another decent fish. He got some payback on me on that one. There he goes. I guess I'm going to get me about 10 of these. Like I said, they sure are fun. Fun to catch. May even eat a few of them myself, you know. It's kind of small. I think I'm going to let him go. Let him go. Come on, I need one of those 15, 16 inches. Need to start me, get me a wall mount trophy. He's on there. Now, this guy's a little bit, he's a little bit bigger. What he's over there hanging out with those little boys for? Shouldn't be over there playing with him. fish think he will keep say cheese 
once again barometric tactical fishing barometric fishing tactics I mean I'm plugging them just about every cast over there see there I mean just throw it out there and let it sink and they're on there I like they're getting bigger too I don't know it'll just feel bigger see that beautiful fish like I said there's a there's a ton of them over there there's a ton of them not gonna take me long to get the ten this way they're hanging over there in about five feet of water too need to tie my shoestring for a trip and fall out the boat on top of him one is nice every now and then a good one will come through That was a decent fish there. I'll weigh him up in a little bit. I want to see if I can catch one of his buddies. Normally, when you catch one good size of them, there's another one not too far away. He is not happy to be in that cooler. And good grief, I just saw something here on the fish pond. You got to see this. So that would be right out here. There's a school of fish that must be using my boat for cover. That big fellow's not happy to be in the cooler. See if I can get him some company. May make him feel better. There. Just yank my tail down. I'm going to try it down a little bit of deeper water. Should be some larger fish out there. There he goes. May need to switch up colors. They're starting to spit it out. Try off out here a little bit deeper. Guess their reflexes are faster than mine today. seem to really be concentrated over here on this up against the bank in the thick in the you know the very good shape I mean it just I tried throwing all around that spot to see if I can catch them out of a different spot but just gotta throw it in that spot and this little guy's got a lot of heart in him I think I'll give him another chance. He's a little on the small side. He could help me make my 10 count though, but I'll give him another chance. Come on. Need a few more big ones. Maybe this one's a little bigger. Yes, he is. Bigger, more heart, more fight. Not cooking a good place in his mouth, so I'm gonna have to net him. Nice. 
beautiful. Now he's thick. He's not huge, but he's thick. He's going in the cool. I mean, they're just hitting it on the way down. I mean, there's, I mean, this must be a ton of them over there. Too small, too small. So once again, barometric fishing tactics. Conditions aren't the best. A lot of times you come fishing conditions like this, you say, oh, the fish aren't biting. Well, really, if you just happen to hit that one good spot, you can feel the cool up in a matter of minutes. But you can fish like that entire lake up there, no fish up there. So um, a lot of times you think they're not biting, they're really biting pretty good. They're just not biting where you are. I mean, these fish are literally hitting this lure on the way down when I toss it over there. Look, one has it already, see that? Spit it out. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do that one more time just so you can see just how fast these fish are biting during this high pressure system. Sometimes you see one that gets you excited. You know, because I got a new pole set up I wanted to try, but when I got up and I saw what these fishing conditions were, I knew it would be pointless and worthless to roam out here in the middle of this lake where there's no fish, you know? Let, let the conditions and the fish determine your tactic. There he goes. This one's a, this is another net worthy, net worthy fish here, see? I should have 10 fish in there by now, but um, once again, I just want to say, let the, you know, when you're doing barometric based fishing, take a look at the conditions. You should be able to instantly rule out unproductive parts of the lake. So um, I think I just is about winding it up for this video. I think I might go down here and try some other areas because I still want to try to keep some, um, I want to catch some big fish. I haven't ran into many of the 15, 16 inches lately. I want to go down here and see if I can find some of those. So, um, once again, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and like. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that are coming out. So, once again, thanks for watching Hook Legends. These little rascals are fun to catch. <laughs> Too small. Too small. Where are the big boys? Where are the big boys and girls? Had to be a big one off that point up there. Did not miss him that time. Now there's some structure over there. And once again, you know, the, the big fish dominate the prime locations. I don't break. The big fish dominate the prime fishing locations. So, um, I mean, he's not huge. He's bigger than some of the other ones. Still, that's a decent fish.
lucky Jake Master gave me a whole new pack. Sometimes when you're crappie fishing, you hang on to something much bigger than what you want. He's taking off all sorts of drag. And you, what you do when you catch a large fish like that, especially on four pound test line, I got a 50-50 chance of getting this fish. Nice bass, I mean, um, I, I can wait him out. Guarantee you he's running a whole lot more energy running around than I am. See, it's coming up now. And he's gonna make a run. He's gonna make a, he's gonna make one or two runs. He can't go any deeper than the bottom of this lake. So look at him there, see him? Look at him. Beautiful bass. Beautiful bass. Uh, he's almost he's almost done for, you know. Once again, this is an ultralight. But you see it still catch nice fish. Take your time. And once again, this is on a high pressure day. Now this is a bonus fish. This isn't a part of my crappie video, but this is a bonus fish. Pig legends. Nice one here, one nice crappie to go in the cooler. 